What's up, guys? We're here at the regionals. We have Nicholas. He got fourth place today. What did you play today? I played Snake Eye. Snake Eye, just pure Snake Eye. Yeah, pure Snake Eyes today. That's a pretty nice deck. Why did you choose that option today? Like, why? Um, to me, I find the Snake Eye engine's already extremely strong. By the time you're adding in more engines, I never want to build a bigger board or push more for game. I find I'm never needing to do that. What I actually want more is usually like hand traps because my opponent like dark rolled me and I had no up to it. And I prefer to have something not committed to the board that I can still interrupt with. So I prefer Fair to enough. just run more hand traps. Fair enough. I know I played with this guy at locals. He has some really crazy builds. I hope we see that again today. Congratulations on getting fourth place, by the way. Very huge. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. Okay. Any shout outs you want to give before we dive in? Uh, shout out to, to Brad for helping me test, uh, Josh Kirby for helping me test. Uh, both really good. Um, Cody for helping me test as well. Um, so, and then uh, to my partner, Caitlin, for uh, just supporting me while I play too much. Fair enough, fair enough. We love those supporting partners. And well, let's dive in. Awesome, awesome. So I'll start with the engine. We've got Flame Burge, just one Flame Burge. Um, I don't like running the two, too many bricks. Um, we've got uh, Snake Eyes Diabell Star, three Ash, two Poplar, one Oak. Um, nothing too crazy in terms of the, the Snake Eye stuff. Um, three Diabell Star, um, so that's pretty standard as well. And then some more of the engine, three Bonfire, three Wanted. Uh, we got Temple, uh, OSS. And then I'm running uh, Dranic Snake Eye Chase and Silvera. Okay, okay, these two are a little bit different than normal. A little bit different than normal. So Chase can just, uh, if you already went full combo through Ash and you ended on pretty much the full board, you can just chase for Diabell Star uh, in your back row, then in end phase it summons her and sets this. And this is an Omni Negative cards on field. Yeah, crazy so, cards. Yeah, I resolved this against the Talents, twice against the Droplet today. Um, it, it's just crazy. They, they pitch like three cards for a Droplet and you just And they don't it. do it there. They don't set a trap, so you're just like, okay. Exactly, exactly. So it's uh, it's a really strong card. Um, something that, that won me a few games today. For non-engine, I've got Nib. Uh, I've got Free Ash, Free Valor. Uh, and then a couple two ofs, two Ghost Ogre, and two Ghost Mourner. So why only one Nibiru? I personally find that Nib's not really great unless I open another hand trap to go along with it in this format. So for me, um, I'm using it as a cross out uh, designator target. You'll see designator okay, okay. in a bit. But I just find often I just have one Nib. You nib them, they just end on a full combo anyway. Um, most decks these days feels like it's that way, unless I open another hand trap along with it. So. Just wasn't doing it for me in testing and at locals, so. Fair enough. Yeah. And that's 16 hand trap I think I saw? Um, or no, no. By the time you add in the imperms, it gets pretty close to it. But uh, 3, 6, 10, 11, 14 by the time you add in the imperms. Yeah. Okay, and the crosshats. We like those. We like those yeah. odds. So then, um, uh, talents and two droplet. Mostly these are for cross up targets, um, but droplet's also really good this format, just against a lot of decks that put up big, big boards, big. Uh, big items that are, are tough to clear. Called by and three crossouts. Again, because I'm running pure, to me, I just want to protect my snake eye combo. I want to get my snake eye combo off because just looking through, aside from like Ostinato, to me, I think it's some of the most value you can get off one card in the format right now. So I'd rather just complete a snake eye combo and then the uh, the three imperms. So. Yeah, I, I agree with that a lot. Uh, that's, that's a pretty you know, tight, compact deck. And it's 40 cards? 42. 42, 42 okay. So it's it's still a little bit larger, but uh, I actually like the 42. Uh, because, because you're it, playing like some softer bricks. I'm playing some bricks and things like that, and I'm playing, uh, you know, the, the three ash and stuff like that, but I don't really want to see like too much engine things. So um, yeah, let's go with extra decks. Um, so a lot of standard stuff. So Anima IP, SP, Dark. I'm running two Hida. Uh, it catches a lot of people off guard. It came up multiple yeah. times today. Uh, won me some games. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, Celine, two Princess. Again, catches people off guard. Uh, sometimes they think you're pretty much out of resources. They check your grave. They're like, oh, Hida and Princess are gone. Then you build a full board out of just a couple fire monsters. Um, then Appalooza, Access Code. World C, uh, Raging Phoenix, and then Fucho. So why this card? Were you that afraid of? Shifter? Yeah. Um, so Shifter hits it. There's also a few times where some sometimes you make a, a small board, but you just get like three hand trapped, and you end up with like an Ash that's been uh, impermed and, and a pop where it's not really doing anything. Instead of trying to commit more to the board, because you've already used a lot of your monsters like uh, once effects, just make a Fucho pass if you still have the bolster in hand, just save her. 
And then later, your next turn, you're going to probably survive because of Fucho. Yeah. You can go full combo again, so... Um, it didn't come up at all today, just because I didn't... Uh, nobody drew a shifter against me. Would you ever think but, of playing against Zeus as well for the Fucho? So, like, you could, like, just attack and then Zeus, or...? Potentially. I just really like all the options in this extra deck. I used pretty much... I used everything today, um, so it's yeah. There's there's not much I'd want to cut. Of course, you could cut the second ones of these, but when they come up, they win me games. So, yeah. Fair enough. Out of the way. Side deck, free dark ruler no more. Um, we've got a lot of um, uh, voiceless and uh, melodious around here, so yeah, it's crazy. you need you need something to out those boards. Otherwise, otherwise a melodious board is just kind of like a, a game loss. Um, DD Crow, just a one of. Um, again, it's it's just really good against uh, Voiceless and a few of those uh, random matchups. Um, going first cards, I got Anti Spell, Skill Drain, uh, and D Barrier. Didn't see D Barrier today, but Skill Drain and Anti Spell both incredible cards in this because you just send them off uh, Ash and then you keep playing. Yeah. Um, so it's they're kind of crazy. And then just Spell Trap Hate. Uh, so we've got some Runic Stun around here um, and some other uh, decks that I really really need to deal with. So the Death I drew twice today, and both times it, it completely won me the game, so it's a one of, but uh, sometimes it just goes really it's hard. Blow. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. It, it blows a lot of uh, decks. So. Anything yeah. that you miss, like we see one DD Crow, I think that's obviously for the crossouts as well, um, but like, is there anything you would change in it, or that you felt like you missed a little bit, or? One thing um, that I probably would have liked is to find a way to incorporate Bell. It does hit a lot of decks, it's good against Ostinato, um, but for me, um, just in terms of the space I wanted in uh, in the side deck, because I'm so scared of uh, Runic Stun around here, I couldn't find the space for three Ghost Bell, so it was just one uh, one DD Crow, and then the uh, hoping to board break against them. Fair That's enough. Really my best chance. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I like the deck a lot. Uh, hopefully, see you again soon, and good luck. Awesome. Thanks.